Okay, hello everybody. Let me fix this up. <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna do volume um, lash making, handmade. Um, we're gonna do the pinching method, which is the one with the fingers. Um, and what else? Um, I do have Invisalign in, so if I do lisp, you know why. Okay, so first I'm gonna shake up my glue. This is just a shaker off Amazon. It's like $10, I think. And then I'm just gonna have my glue ready because we are gonna get into this. So I just do like two drops in here, just like that. Clean off your nozzle. And since I'm not really lashing someone, I'm gonna keep my glue on the tape on the side. Um, this tape is dirty. I do not use it on clients. I just found it in my drawer, like deep, deep down. So I'm gonna keep that there. Um, and so for volume making, the first step is having good tweezers. You cannot make fans if your tweezer is weak, if it's not even like this, if it doesn't have a tight grip. So make sure you have some good tweezers. These ones are from me. You guys can purchase them on my website, which I'll link below. Um, they're both volume tweezers. I also have this style. Where is it? I also have this 90 degree style. This is the most popular one. Um, today I'm just going to be using these two just because these are my favorite. I do like this one just as much too, but I don't know. I'm just going to use these ones. Okay, so let's get some strips. So we'll get some long strips, some short strips. These are my trays. Um, this one is an 18. And it's CC and 0 0.05. So I'm, I always put my longest ones at the top. Just so I know. Let me get some shorter ones in there. Um, let's do some 0 0.07 decurl, 15 length. I'll put this like right here. And then let's get some. And then I'm also going to do 15.05 decurl. All I use is my lashes. Sometimes I do like to use other brands because, you know. It's good to mix it up. And then lastly, I'm going to do 0 0.03, 12, decurl. Okay. So now we have 18, we have 15. I think this is, yeah, this is the 0 0.07 and this is the 0 0.05. Or is it opposite? Okay, actually, <laughs> I already forgot. This one's 0 0.07, this one's 0 0.05. 15, 15, 18.05, and then 12. Um, okay, so I label them so you guys can see which which are which. Um, and then I'm going to use this cosmetic sponge um, to put the fans on. So when I'm training students, which I don't do anymore, but when you're training students, this is good to see their work. So sometimes I have them do this whole full side with their first lashes, like in the first 30 minutes, whatever. Um, and then at the end, we have all these sides done and you can see the difference. So you can be like, oh, this was her first side. This is her second. And this is later on in the class. And you can see the difference. So I like to use that just so that they can see. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start with, let's start with the easier one, the 15.07. So when you're doing 0 0.07 versus 0 0.03, um, you don't want to do a fan that's too big because this is thicker. You can't. You just can't. So if you guys should know this. If you already taken a lash class, you should know all that stuff. If you don't, you're gonna learn how to make the fan. So I'm gonna use this tweezer right now and then we'll switch off to the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna come right here and take a chunk. Make sure that you're not grabbing all of these. You wanna make sure you're grabbing your chunk and getting it like in front of the rest. Um, and kind of get it inside the tweezer. So don't hold it at the tip of your tweezers. You wanna get it in the middle because that's usually where the tightest grip is. So I'm gonna pull it up just like that. Let it focus. Okay, so it should look just like that. Um, if it's looking crazy at the bottom, sometimes you can pull off um, lengths that aren't like the same. Or if it's looking too crazy, throw it out and try it again. It should look just like this. 
So now there's a few ways to pinch it. You could pinch it this way or you could pinch it this way. Um, I'm gonna pinch it this way. Okay, so we're gonna put it in between the tweezer and then we're gonna pinch it and then while you're pinching, release the tweezer just a little bit. Just like that. Sometimes you need to go in and pinch it some more so that it kind of straightens out a little bit, just like that. So that's how my fan's looking. Once you dip it in the glue, the base will come together. So I'll show you guys how that looks. And you can also use the sides of the wall of this glue thing. You don't have to, you see that? Or you can go in here and just clean it up a little bit. And now we're gonna place it here. Okay, so that's our first fan. It's not that cute, but whatever. So I'm gonna pick up about this much. Then I'm gonna hold it really tight and literally lift upward, just like that. It should come right off the strip. Then I'm gonna get my fingers, pinch it and release the tweezer just a little bit so that it has room to move just like this. Then hold the tweezer tight and then let go so you can see how it's looking. I'm gonna take another little piece like this and where you grab it is not that important because you can make fans from low or high. So what I mean by that is you can grab the fan from like down here or you can grab it from a little higher up. I hope you guys can see that, I don't know. Uh, but I like to get it just from the middle, um, hold it really tight and just lift upward. Okay, then we're gonna pinch, release the tweezer just a tiny bit so it has room to move, and then hold it tight again, and that's how your fan's gonna look. Looks cute. Now I'm gonna come here and glue it a little bit. And also these glue rings are on my website, you guys can purchase there. I have a discount code, I'll link it down below. So that's how it's looking so far. Cute. Once you have them all together, I promise your lashes are gonna look bomb. They're gonna look so good. Um, a lot of people always ask like, oh, do your fans have to be perfect? Honestly, no, especially if you're going faster. Um, They're not always gonna look really good, but as long as you have it fanned out in a snatch base, that's all that matters. Um, the snatch base is rule number one. If your base is ever looking crazy or having like little hair stick out, it can poke the client's skin and that's not good. So make sure that um, your fan looks snatched like this. Okay, so we're gonna do some more. Let's try the 12. Okay, and always, this is a good example. Always make sure that there is no hairs in between your tweezers. So sometimes when you're going fast, you don't check. You cannot pick up lashes when there's something in your tweezer. So there may be some glue on your tweezer or a little hair like there is right now. Make sure you always just take that out and make sure you check. Sometimes if there is glue, I like to take another tweezer and scrape it off just like this. Like that. It should come off. Oh, shit. Okay. So once again, we're gonna do the 12 here. I'm gonna take it, this is 0 0.03, so you can go a little thicker if you want it to, you don't have to. So I'm gonna go about this thick, I'm gonna pull it off, just like that. And then I'm gonna pinch it. So now let's do the 18. Um, I'm gonna get this tweezer back just cause that's my homeboy right there. Okay. Okay, so this is a great example. So sometimes you can pinch that back into place or you can just pull it out like this. Sometimes you need another tweezer. Shit like that happens, guys. I'm gonna keep this one in. So now we're gonna just pinch it. Now 
we're gonna pinch it just like that get your glue okay we're gonna do the 18s again pull off your chunk like that get your fingers in position we're gonna pinch and then release the tweezer just a little bit so I'm gonna show from this angle so you can see how much um, I'm releasing the tweezer okay Literally barely, you could barely see, right? Barely. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I know I haven't posted, but I'm gonna start posting more. Bye.